Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to take the opportunity to welcome all of you to uh, ESPIC 2009. I think the doors at the back uh, are now closed, and everybody should be coming through for the first session. I welcome Christian Vachon to this interview today at the ESTEC. He is um, founder and president of the Canadian Air, solar air um, collector manufacturer, Ener Concept Technologies. And um, I would like to know from you why are solar air collectors such a big thing in Canada, whereas in Europe we don't know much about this technology yet. Well, I've been learning here that in Europe there's a couple of uh, new players coming, so maybe it will become somehow popular. But in Canada it's very popular because of a couple of factors. Uh, most heating systems in Canada are air-based, so solar air collectors are easy to integrate in the normal heating system. Plus, uh, in Canada we have a very cold climate, and having a cold climate means like danger of uh, freezing, which air collectors don't have, so they're very, uh, very good for that. And also, uh, in Canada, we have a lot of companies that draw a lot of fresh air from outside. And uh, a lot of, in a lot of applications, solar air heaters are used to preheat that fresh air. And in a fresh, fresh air heating mode, it's good because any heat gain is a useful gain. If it's minus 20 outside, it bring in the air at minus 15 or minus 10. It doesn't seem much, but it's a very uh, use, useful heat gain. And also, uh, solar air heaters don't stagnate, so in summer it's not a problem not to use them for heating purposes. We just bypass the collectors and it's fine because they won't overheat. And air is also a medium that uh, we don't need to carry around in a bottle. If there's a leak in the system, it's also not a tragic thing to happen, so it's an easy thing to, to, to maintain. So maintenance-free and uh, frost, uh, stagnation not an issue, and also used in areas where we need a lot of fresh air or a lot of air. So that's why we use them in Canada a lot. Well, I heard that there is um, the inauguration of a new international association today in Munich. Um, it's called Solar Air Heating World Industry Association. You will be at this inauguration meeting, so what could be the objectives of such an international association? Well, I was invited to this meeting and uh, I, I didn't organize it, but I think it's a very good idea. I think the industry needs that and one of the things that uh, we need to address is the fact that solar air heating is, is not really a strong voice. Like there's a huge market for solar water heating and even PV has a, a lot of uh, a big lobby, but there's no such thing as for solar air heating. So that's one of the things we've got to look, how to represent ourselves within an association. And I also like the fact that through this association we could look at the standards, the standards for testing collectors. Uh, right now there's many different standards across the world for water heater testing. And it's a hard task now to try to harmonize them between North America, Australia, Europe and China and so on. Whereas right now we could start, it's early days for solar air collectors, uh, we could start with the same standard for the whole planet and, and work from there. So, uh, and we won't have to do that work later on in the future. So that would be extremely useful if we could have uh, common standards for everybody right from day one. And I think this association wants to achieve that. So do you see a chance for your technology in Europe? I mean, what are your typical clients for your technology? Typical clients for our technologies are basically large companies that require a lot of fresh air. Um, I guess I got to say I don't know the German ma market that well in that area. I, you don't use as much air as we do, and uh, and uh, there seems to be a strong market for solar water heaters. So I don't know whether one day our collectors will be uh, here in Germany. Hopefully they will be. Uh, all I know is that we do import uh, collectors from Germany for certain uses in Canada, and they're very uh, useful there. So hopefully, yeah, it'll be a two-way thing, uh, a two-way thing soon somehow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Pleasure.